Hey booze! I am coming to you all to finally do the rainbow tag. Um, I thought I wasn't going to do it at first and I know my boo Dina, she tagged me and uh, I think Evie, she probably tagged me too. Um, and I thought I wasn't going to do it, I didn't have the time to kind of get it done but today I got a little time so I'm going to do like a bunch of videos and try to get them all edited for you all and hopefully it doesn't take me three weeks to get that done. As far as the rainbow tag, you do the Roy G. Biv and you pick your favorite products, red, orange, yellow, blue, indigo, violet, all that good stuff. Some people are doing clothes, some people are doing makeup, some people are doing whatever. So I'm actually going to do a makeup item and then I'm going to do a nail polish item because I feel like nail polish is completely different for me and I have a very different relationship with nail polish. Um, so I had to do both of them. So for each color I will be showing you my favorite makeup item and I'll be showing you my favorite nail polish. So let me go ahead and jump right in. The first color of the rainbow tag is red. The first product I'm going to show you is in red packaging. Of course what's inside is not red but that's that would be my Maybelline Lash Stiletto Mascara. I am not a huge mascara girl. Um, however, I have this mascara on today. Um, I got it from CVS, 75% off. So I was like, oh, it's mad cheap. So I'm just buy it. Absolutely fell in love with this. The wand of it is kind of, y'all already probably know this, but it's like skinny in the middle and then it gets wide on the end, whatever. It gives my eyelashes volume, length, the whole nine. It's the cutest little package. Um, so I absolutely love that one. As far as red polishes go, it would be my Red Carpet Glitz and Glamour Polish. I will show it to you. Look at that, honey. It is a pure apple red. Just, whew. Um, I wore it during the holidays and did not even want to take it off. I wanted to just keep it on forever because I absolutely love it. So that is my absolute favorite red polish. I'm not even a huge red polish girl, but that polish gives me so much life. You have no idea. Now on to orange. It is my black opal and this packaging has since changed. So this packaging rubbed off my black opal orange lip color. I actually already have a little bit of it swatched on my hand here absolute gorgeous burnt orange color it's their liquid lipstick and it goes on so rich it's so creamy and it lasts and it's shiny and truly lipstick it's not like a gloss it is opaque as you can tell it's just huh. every time I get an opportunity to wear that that lip color I am on it because I absolutely love it and it looks so amazing on my skin tone yellow undertone orange undertones in their skin it just brings that out it's so vibrant has a nice um shimmer to it as well just gorgeous you got to get your hands on that um then my favorite orange polish it's actually one of the lache or la chats i'm not really sure how you say it the perfect matches that has the gel polish and the lacquer in at the same time i'm actually coincidentally wearing it today because it is my favorite um and it's my sweet desire life moving on um <laughs> now i don't want to cheat with this one but i don't have any yellow eyeshadows like i'm not gonna wear yellow eyeshadow i have a lot of goals and that sort of stuff so i'm gonna kind of try to bring in a little bit of gold with this one and coincidentally it's also going to have my favorite orange um eyeshadow in here and this is the l'oreal hip flare duo number 404 it's flare f-l-a-r-e my absolute favorite orange here my absolute favorite highlight color and it's a yellowy creamy sort of color it is a apparently a dupe for max rice paper so that was the closest i could get to that and i have it swatched but i'll go ahead and just deepen it up a little bit for you absolute favorite i have had this duo for quite some time um and i just cannot get enough i love using this orange as well this orange for a um, transition color. Woo! Yes. You pair this and this together in some way. Just subtly bringing in this eyeshadow as a transition when you have on this. Okay. Um, my favorite yellow nail polish of all time. Again with the Leche. I need to get back into wearing my Leche colors because I put them off to the side. And these are some of my absolute favorite colors. Um... This is Golden Boyfriend. It's another one of the perfect matches, so you get both in the set. I have to wear this color again. I have to wear it. I have to before the summer is out. This color, love affair. I haven't worn it in about a year, but 
love affair with this color. It is such a deep, sunny, golden yellow. It brings out the correct colors in my skin tone. Gorgeous. Gorgeous! Okay? As far as greens go, it would have to be from my Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. And it would be this mossy green right here. This color is so soft, so creamy. I will show you on my finger here. Yes, honey, yes. This green is so wearable, so gorgeous. You pair that up with the brown in the fall. You can even do some things with it and dress it up in the, in the summer. Um, but for me, this is the go-to green. All the colors in the Comfort Zone palette are great. But that green, nothing like it. Um, as far as green nail polish, it would be Color Club's... Which one is this? Angel Kiss. It is their green holographic color. My all-time favorite. And I think this was actually my first holo that I ever got. And it's just very mossy. It's kind of like a sea foamy green. But that holo effect is everywhere. Perfect. Gorgeous. Love it. A ton. Blues. Um, when Miss uh, Ms. Outlet was going out of, out of business, I needed like one more dollar or 50 cents or something like that in my cart to get free shipping so I randomly threw this LA Girl Vivacious palette in there and all of these colors are really really good if you can get these now don't get me wrong it's a little chalky a little powdery but not much um not enough that you can't work with it this palette is a really really good palette to pick up if you can get your hands on it and the blue that I'm in love with is this one right here Look at how pigmented they are. I mean, everything in this palette is really, really pigmented. Um, look at that blue. Look at that blue. It is absolutely gorgeous. You could do so, so much with it. I just think this blue is absolutely fantastic. Then I have another Lache. It's crazy. I don't know. If, is it Lache or Lache? 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 I don't know. Comment down below. Let me know how I'm supposed to be pronouncing this. I'm not from France, okay? I'm from the South. <laughs> so we pronounce everything wrong. Um, but... Perfect Match by Lache has Old New Barra Blue. The best blue ever. I will show you here. This blue is phenomenal. Times 12. Um, then you have Indigo. The closest Indigo that I had is in my I Heart Matte palette because this purple here does have a lot of blue in it. It's not a true purple. Um, and I'll show you that on my finger. I use it to deepen up, like for instance, um, if I'm wearing a, a blue or if I'm putting blue on somebody else, I'll put that in there to deepen up their outer corners. If I'm using a purple, I'll put it in there to transition it out. It's really just a gorgeous color. It's not the most pigmented, but it definitely gets the job done, easily builds up, um, and blends out very, very well. As far as um, indigo colors for nail polish, it would be the, I don't even know how to pronounce this either, Ozotic. It's number 504 of the Ozotic nail polishes. They are the duo chromes. Absolutely gorgeous. Hopefully you can see some of that duo chrome. But it's a true purple, blue, indigo sort of color. Absolutely gorgeous. So glad that I got my hands on this. Cannot let it go. Favorite of all time. Purple. It would be, and I actually already have this one swatched on my hand here. You can't see all of it but you can see some of that iridescence it would be in the I'm feeling retro wet and wild trio it's this fuchsia purple iridescent duochrome color here absolutely gorgeous especially for the summer and it is swatched here great 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 um my favorite purple of all time which was really hard because apparently I love purple polishes and I didn't even realize it until I started looking through my collection um and that would be the IBD Just Gel in Confusion Coincidentally, both of my purples are like mono duochrome sort of colors because they have reflex. This has a lot of purple pink um, reflex in it um, that kind of gives it that different look as well. So maybe that's just like my thing unbeknownst to me. Um, but that is my purple and you have to pick those up. Both are really, really affordable. And of course, I love my IBDs. Um, as far as pink goes because everybody's adding pink in and y'all know how much I love pink so I'm going to pick pink regardless. I was going to figure out some way to get it in there. Um, I have Pixie which is the Bake Eyeshadow by e.l.f. I actually and I don't know how much you'll be able to see it. I have it on today. 
in um, my look that I have on. It's kind of like a gold pinkish brown sort of look that I put together. And this is Pixie. I might need to just take a moment, okay? I cannot even tell you enough what I think about this color. It is gorgeous times one million. I just absolutely love it. It's gorgeous. Um, it has like some brown stuff in there. And of course you can wear it wet or you can wear it dry. Beautiful, beautiful color, especially for spring. Um, love it. As far as pinks, I could not separate myself between the two pinks and being that pink is my favorite color. I actually picked out two. So I have Teeny Bikini or um, Cactus Flower, which I feel is a pretty decent dupe for these two colors. Um, they're interchangeable to me. Teeny Bikini, which you'll see in my last uh, nail tutorial that I did. And then my favorite pink, y'all probably already know it, will be the Color Club Hollow. Um, and it's in Miss Bliss. Absolutely my favorite. The hollow effect. You can see it through the bottle. Given everything that can be given at this point. Um, but I absolutely, absolutely love that polish. So glad I got those done. And I noticed that a lot of people as well are putting in like their multicolored items and my favorite multicolor item hands down y'all probably already have guessed it those of you who've watched my channel at all would be my elf and i believe this is the 144 palette i use this palette literally every single day there's not a day that goes by there's not a look that i do that i do not incorporate this um everything is decently pigmented and does well the colors are creamy they're not super super chalky it was very very affordable i think i got it for maybe five or six dollars um when it was one of the 50 percent off sales it is definitely a go-to for me don't travel with it because one i don't want to run the risk of breaking any of them um and the packaging is not the best however this for affordability usability it's what I go to every single day. Um, so that is my rainbow tag. I am going to tag a couple people. I'll throw your names down here on the end. And I would love to see your uh, rainbow tag. Leave your videos as a response. And everybody else who is watching, you are tagged as well. So I hope you all enjoyed this. If you have any questions about any of these products of my rainbow tag, definitely let me know and comment down below. If if you have any other products that you also love or if we share any products that we love in our rainbow tag, definitely let me know down below. I'd love to hear from you. Y'all take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. I'll be back with the same face doing like 12 other videos. So get ready. <laughs>